This tutorial will go over some of the basics of layers, including how to move layers, how to resize layers, and how to rotate layers. To start with, open Acorn and choose New Image. We'll choose the dimensions of 1400 by 800 pixels with a white background. Now let's click on the File menu item and choose Save. We're going to choose the Acorn file format because that is the format that will preserve our layers. Next, we're going to rename our first layer White Background. To bring other images into this image, choose File, Add Images, and locate your image file. You can see here we've brought in an image of leaves, and it's on a layer above the white background layer. In order to resize this layer, we're going to choose Layer, Rotate and Transform, Scale and Rotate. We can then click on a corner of the layer and little arrows will appear that will allow us to drag in and out in order to resize it. If you click and drag on the layer, you can place it anywhere you'd like in the canvas. You can click Apply in the Inspector Palette, or you can double click to commit the work you've done. So let's bring in some additional images. File, Add Images and we'll bring in an image of some poppies. Now you can see this time Acorn automatically popped into Scale and Transform upon adding this image. It's scaled to 21%. This is because the image is much larger than the canvas size. If you'd like to exit Scale and Transform and have the image appear at its original dimensions, you can hit the Escape key but we're going to go ahead and drag on a corner in order to resize it the way we want. And then click and drag on the image to place it in the lower right hand corner. And we'll double click to apply. Now to bring in a third image, we're gonna drag and drop the image onto our canvas from the finder. When you add an image this way, Acorn does not pop in to scale and transform automatically. This image is very large. We can only see a tiny fraction of it. So let's scale and transform using keyboard shortcut Command Shift T. And we're gonna enter 10% into the scale percentage box. And now we can drag and drop the layer where we want it and resize it if needed. And we'll double click to commit the work. So let's add one more image. And again, scale and transform and drag to place. At this point, you can use the Move tool, which is in the upper left-hand corner of the Tools palette. This tool allows you to move your layers within the canvas and position them where you'd like them. Another option is to play around with rotating the images to create a different collage effect. Choose Layer, Rotate and Transform, Scale and Rotate, and by hovering just outside of the layer, you'll see rotating arrows appear. You can now click and drag to achieve your rotation, or you can use the angle field in the inspector palette. So let's go through and rotate all four of our layers. So we'll just click on each one and use Command Shift T and click and drag to rotate. And we'll use the move tool to reposition. Now if we'd like to change which layers are on top of the other layers, we can go into the layers list and we can move the poppies layer up to the very top and move the leaves layer up and you can see how that changes, how each of the layers overlap with one another. So this tutorial covered moving, resizing, and rotating layers. Be sure to spend time practicing this skill as it's fundamental for using a layers-based image editor such as Acorn.